Hey y'all, welcome back. Sorry, that was bugging me. <sighs> welcome back to my channel. This is Boring Story Things with me, WC. I was trying out a hairstyle that wasn't working and I took it out because I did. <laughs> it is whatever. Uh, today, to continue on in my non-stop November video thing that I only post on the weekdays and never on the weekends because I have a life and also I need to write. Today I'm talking about the different types of flash fiction. As in the last one I talked about flash fiction, this one is the different types. Because knowing what kind of type you want to write will actually help you write more or better or just write in general. That's what it did for me. So we're going to start at the longest ones and then go to the shortest ones, basically. I'm pretty sure. I'm 100% sure. So the first ones are called sudden fiction or short fiction and they are 750 to 1000 words long. You might be like, that's pretty short and it's going to only get shorter from here because I just said that. Note, the word length on these ones can go up to 2000 depending on the people who are asking for the flash fiction. Next up, we have micro fiction or nano fiction coming in at a total of 300 words or less. These are the ones that I specialize in in that this is what I first started working on uh, for my Instagram everyday uploading challenge. And it really, it was really hard to say the least. It was really hard, but you know what? It's totally worth it because I can actually do flash fiction in um, 35 snaps if you're doing them slow. Not, not that fast, but like this. In 35 snaps, 30, 38, I'm going to say, I could probably do that flash fiction. Postcard fiction is pretty obvious, but uh, it's fiction that can fit on the back of a postcard. You know, when people write home using those fancy postcards. That's what they're doing. That's kind of cool because if you think about it, people have been doing this kind of fiction, this kind of short fiction for a very long time. We all know when people write home with those postcards, not everything they say they're doing is what they're actually doing. That's what TV taught us anyway. Depending on how large your handwriting is, they're anywhere from 50 words to 500. On average, it's 250 words. So, you know. Next, we have a drabble. Not a dribble, a drabble. It's it wanted to be dribble, but that was taken. So drabble it is. And it describes a story that's exactly 100 words long, which is cool. If you have a 100 word limit every day, I think that would actually be very productive because then you'd have to know what kind of story you're going to write and you know exactly what length you need to stop. And as a side note, none of these types include the titles, none of them. So, you know, just so you know. So the title, the words in the title are separate from the content of the story. Although the title can do some heavy lifting, I'm just saying. Okay, so this is why Drabble is the way it is. Because a dribble, or a mini saga, is a thing. And it is exactly 50 words. So it's exactly half of a Drabble. I've never, I'm pretty sure I've read all of these different types of flash fiction. And you probably have to in one form or another, which makes it more exciting, to say the least. And sometimes you can read like the most awesome most amazing stories that only take 50 words to tell. That's up to you to learn how to do it and how to write read it. And I'm pretty sure there are some magazines that specialize in dribbles and dravels <laughs> and all of these things. I am almost 100% sure. Next we have the shortest of the short flashies and they are called six word stories. And they're pretty self-explanatory. And no, this does not include the title. This includes only the content. And those are the different types of flash fiction that I was able to find and that I know that stories have been written up. There's actually very famous stories within each of the different types, lengths of flash fictions that you guys can find. I will have some link down below, but once you realize that you can make flash fiction and you can make it a daily practice because 50 words is not that much, 6 words is not that much, 100 is not that much, 300 is not that much, even 500, 750, 1000 a day isn't that much. But once you know, now that you know the different lengths and types that you can do, the possibilities are endless, guys. So go and write, continue to do your NaNoWriMo, as I will continue to do it too. And I will update you later. And if you guys like this kind of content, let me know down in the comments below, because this is kind of really short and most of my stuff is very long. <laughs> very long. And if you want more content like this, let me know. I'm just not going to do it every day, but I will do more of it if that's what you say. Okay, I'll have to talk to you guys later. I have a party to go to. A word party. Where I write words. For now, I gotta go. Bye! 
for now, I gotta go ride some. So, bye. So, bye.